Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Yoshi's Crafted World. And today we are marching through more of the game. Of course, last episode we completed all the Poochie Pal missions we currently have. And now I wanna go through everything and just complete all the hide and seek missions, all of the souvenir things. As you can see, we've already gotten Sunshine Station fully completed. And my goal at the least in today's episode is to do the same for Yarktopus Docks, Go Go Land, and Big Paper Peak, barring the boss fight. Boss fight I'm gonna leave for its own thing in the future. Uh, we'll just have like a boss rush episode or something like that. There's just so much to do in this game. I feel like there's only some ways I can do it. You just gotta like break it up in little chunks. So yeah, let's get started with all of the missions, all the requests that we have still left in the Octopus Dogs. We did some of them in the second episode, but now we have more. I'd love a pirate ship, please. Pretty sure there's only, this one can only be seen on the flip side from of the port. If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. All right, so we're gonna move all the way over this way. Um, this is the port, it's a pier, same thing really, I guess, I don't really know. But we'll find it on the back side. Oh, I can already see it in the preview. So we just gotta throw an egg at that thing, as he said, um, and we'll be good. So yeah, this is gonna be a lot of today's episode and probably, I don't know how much how much time this will take. Uh, like, isn't that technically? No. Not the pirate ship I'm looking for, I suppose. And I do also have to go through these levels and find the hide and seek guy, which is gonna be a bit more of a challenge, I think, because he could be absolutely anywhere. So, yeah, very interesting situation. So I wanna throw these at whatever one I can, but I guess it's not the one he's looking for, which is weird. He's looking for a pirate ship, but not that pirate ship. Well, anything that even resembles a ship, and anyway, I'll toss an egg, toss, toss an egg at you, toss, that's, I don't know why I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrongly. I'm not though. All right, yeah, get him out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Poochie Puffs, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Getting flashbacks of all the previous episodes. I can't even throw it at this one, so it must not be. Hey buddy, sorry, I'm not bothering with you very much right now. Oh, okay, not good. That's not a ship, that's just another dock. Hmm, this is weird. Why are there so many that don't count? There must be something about a specific one. Hmm. All right, well, we'll keep looking. Even though we're a good portion through the level at this point, we still have a little bit left to go. Oh, probably that one. That one has the sails. And there we go. You did it! Yeah, it has the striped sails. Let's exit the course. Then we got our first one done. That's very excellent. And yeah, this is going pretty well. Lots of just sort of doing that a bunch is gonna probably be on the itinerary for today's episode. You, woo, you found me a pirate ship. As thanks for your help, I present you with this flower. It'll be our 301st flower. Very good. I've got another request. I'd love a squid, please. It's where every angle to spot this squid on the flip side. All right then, so he's gonna be on the flip side of this one, I'm thinking. <laughs> Look at the poochie dancing. He's so cute. Oh, I love him. But yeah, we'll look around for this one then a little bit. And like I said, we'll get as many of these done as I can, because the thing is, is one individual souvenir mission doesn't take much time, but a whole host of them sort of adds up over time, even if each one only takes like a minute or two each, and that's where the problem sort of comes in, in of it probably taking us a couple of episodes to get it all done, you know? Especially the hide and seek. That's gonna be another little thing. Cause I think they're all on the main side, they're never really on the flip side. But this is also our chance to earn up coins, which I do need much more of. Hmm, let me go down this way. Just looking around for some squids. So far, not the most successful. Hmm, oh, okay, I guess we got a lot of Koopas, or a Koopa took out a lot of uh, Shy Guys or something. I feel like I'm gonna miss him. The, uh, the, uh, Squid. He's not a blooper. I, I, like, I, I know that I wanted to say blooper, but I guess he's just normal squid, which I guess there's both of in the Mario universe. There's both squids and bloopers. Bloopers being the root of all evil. <laughs> That's the big difference maker. There we go, we got that. Don't see too much over that way. Yeah, I'm seeing an odd lack of squids right now, gotta be honest. See a lot of uh, potato chip cans. That's interesting. I'm guessing he's gonna be like stuck behind something that you normally would not have any way to see. So that's what I'm trying to look for. Probably in the background. But you never know. Hmm. 
Where is this dude? He's a pretty good hider so far. Wait, is that him? Oh yes, it is. Much bigger than I had expected. We did it. Okay, let's exit this course. And things are going pretty well now. I don't think there's too many, but we can always pause the game and find out how many uh, different things there are in this level or this area, Yarktopus Dock specifically. I don't think there's too many because we did a couple of them, like I said, in the past. Oh, you found me a squid. Thanks for your help, I present you with this. And we get a happy flower. Who, who would have guessed? 300 or two of them. I got another request. Okay, he still has more. I love a steamboat, please. I saw one on the flip side of the port. I can't call exactly what it looks like. I think I've already seen it. If you see me one, or if you see one, you know what to do. All right, so let me quickly take a look at our courses. If we go to the crafts. Yeah, okay, so we have one more left to do and it's the one we're doing. So that's good. Let's get back to it over at the dock and do the flip side. Now, not all of them, not all the areas have a ton of these, it seems. I mean, maybe you unlock more as you go along and that's sort of the thing, I don't really know, but uh, we'll find out together. See, I guess that's why uh, this dude was sending me away at first in the second episode, because I couldn't do the flip side ones. See, this one will have like little pipes at the top, it's a steamboat or something like that. Maybe it wasn't a steamboat specifically, but I don't remember its name. I know what I'm looking for. It's a bit more specific than just a pirate ship. So that'll make it easier. Is it that right there? It may be. Can't get it from this angle. But that actually may very well be it. Yeah, it's like sort of like a little freight boat maybe? That was it. Okay, that one was super duper easy. All right, let's exit the course. I'm pretty sure there were more than one of those in the level, but at least we found the first one. I mean, I don't really think there was any before that, you know? Okay, let's talk to you again. Ooh, you found me a steamboat. Okay, no, it was a steamboat. And there we go, a 303rd flower. Another request, okay, maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to have some small stripey fish, please. I think five should do the trick. Only on the flip side of the ocean floor collect five. I think I saw a couple of those. Okay, here's the thing now. How much more do we have then here at Yarktopus Docks? I guess there is more. Like, how weird is that? Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, okay, so the, the, the one with the magnifying glass is the one we're looking for right now. Got you, okay. So yeah, they're actually, for real this time, there's only one more left. So we gotta find those small stripey fish. No, wait, I did the wrong side though, whoopsies. So there's lots of fish in this level, but not many of them are that small stripey kind. I was, I was like a sort of like a purple and a yellow. So we'll just have to keep looking around for that. A lot of flip side stuff so far, which once again is concerning because I do need more coins, but I'm sure that once we get some more of the hide and seek stuff, that'll also help out a little bit. There's not too much going on in this little dojo area. See, they are fish, but they're not stripy. Nothing really, oh wait, here's one. Got it, they're really small, so we really have to look for them. But one is better than none, we need to find four more now. I feel like I already could have missed some. <laughs> I'm very concerned. There we go. I'm just gonna jump over these guys when I have the chance to. Okay. Not seeing any kind of stripey fish around here, gotta be honest. But there could be one behind this. Now that, aha, and there was. And now that we have a poochie, it becomes a whole lot easier just to be able to throw a bunch of eggs. Because they're not even eggs. Okay, there's another one. So they're sort of mixed in with other fish a lot of the time. There's three out of five. Hmm. And there's four out of five for sure. Okay, let me get over there then. I'm gonna have to slam this down a couple times. And get you, that's four out of five. Making some good progress so far. I like it. But we gotta continue to keep our eye out. Hopefully I don't walk right past it and then go crazy looking for it. All right, it doesn't look like it's up that way, but it could be behind you or something. Not quite yet. Hmm. One last fishy, where could he be? Could be a part of this whole tree of them. Definitely possible. Let me start from here, because this way I can actually jump up. Doesn't look like it. I don't wanna be so focused on finding them within groups of fish that I end up missing somewhere obvious, so is my concern. But we're getting close to the end of the level now, and I'm not seeing the last one. So 
chances are that means I may have missed it. Luckily, I can take as much time as I need, you know? Okay, well, I found another Fuchi. Didn't even mean to. I've already found all of you guys. Where is it? Oh, it's gotta be nearby, right? Nope, that's the end right there. All right, well, I missed the last one. Isn't that great? So I gotta keep looking around. Oh, there it is, there it is. I can't believe I missed that one. Right in front of me. All right, well, we did it. We got all five of them. Let's exit the course, and that should be everything for your octopus stock. So we've already found one that's given us a hard time. That took me a couple minutes to find. Anyways, we got it. That'll be another flower for us, of course. But then I think we can move out of the octopus docks and in some other areas. The thing is, is with the the menu where it shows us how many more we have left to get, I don't know if that updates over time. So it might say that we only have three now, but it might get more later. I don't really know. But as you can see, for right now, I can say happily that we completed the octopus docks, except for the fact that we still have some hide and seek missions to get done. I mean, maybe. Maybe I should do those in their own episode? I don't really know. I feel like it would be a good idea because I'm probably gonna end up running into them anyways when I'm doing the other things, so let me start looking for those. I just don't know where they could be. You know? They could be absolutely anywhere. <laughs> so it's gonna be a bit of a tough one. Um, but we'll just sort of look through and try to find the little box because that's what he's always hiding in, is a little tiny little box. But these seem to be totally extra then, is a weird thing, is that you do not need to do these for the game to tell you that you fully completed everything. Actually, I probably should uh do that. I hope he's not hiding behind anything, because I feel like that'd be a little too much, but it is very possible that he's hiding behind something like that. Hmm. So this is sort of, in my opinion, a lot like the Pixel Toads in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, where that wasn't really, too necessary either. I mean, I feel like it was a little bit more necessary than these are, but it's still just interesting. And if I just, you know, try to play through the level and complete as much as I can, I'll be well on my way to getting everything I need, so that'd be good. Let me go down here and get you a little bit. And if I just, yeah, like I said, if I comb through everything as quickly, but as thoroughly as possible, it's gonna give me the best chances of finding where he might be hiding. And once we move to some of the er other areas where I actually have to, you know, go through the main side of things to actually, you know, see where the souvenirs are, there's a lot of chances I might end up running into him just coincidentally. So that would work out a lot better. But for right now, the, the octopus docks is where it's just a bit more of a problem. So let's just keep looking for him. Okay, grab that. But that's why I wanna do as many of these as I possibly can in one video. So for those of you who are interested in seeing me get this done, you can, and if not, then you can just skip this video and that's totally fine. So that way, if you just wanna deal, see me deal with like boss fights or Poochie Pops or whatever you might wanna see, that way you can just see it. If I feel like I, if I took it one ep or one area at a time, it would sort of, you know, spread that a little thin. You know, some people would only watch portion of the episode for this thing or for that thing. So I think this is sort of the best way to do it. Okay, I don't see too much else going on around here. Just looking far and wide, because I don't know how far in the background this guy can go. Because the only place we've really found him so far was in the one level in the first world. And he was like basically right at the foreground. Hmm. Well, that got me some extra coins. So I just don't know how sneaky this guy can truly get, and that's what I'm just trying to be prepared for. Cause he could get real sneaky. I'm sure of it. Hmm. So that's why for now I'm like searching behind everything. Until I can get like a general idea of where these things are hidden. There we go, that got us a lot of coins. That got us a lot of coins as well. I'm trying to collect coins because we do need them for the, the little collecting things. Cause I don't know, did we find everything in this? I think we found everything to, to uh, get in the little coin machine in this world. So that's like one last thing to worry about, but I do need, you know, whatever I don't use here, I need to use in other areas. There's some extra hearts. I feel like if there's gonna be anywhere it's hidden, it's gonna be in the little area, little dojo looking area. Cause there's just like a lot visually going on around there, so it would make a lot of sense that there's something hidden there. I got me a couple more coins. I will happily grab them as we're looking through everything. That's a never ending pit below there. So yeah, let's try doing that and then a little bit of that. Aha, there he is, I found him, I found him. Seemed like a sneaky thing for him to do. So once again, he was in the background, but not too far. His name's Sprout. All right, so two out of 43, not too bad. We're just gonna exit the course now. 
And look at that, that was pretty good. So we got a couple of extra coins there as well, 207 of them, and that'll be my goal, is as I'm looking for Sprout, as I'm looking for other bonus stuff, I'll try to earn up whatever coins I can. Uh, now moving on over to this area, we got your octopus docks, more Sprout stuff. Let us, um, yeah, keep going with the hide and seek right over this way, and hope everything turns out pretty well. It's also sort of a nice little trip down memory lane, a very recent memory lane, but <laughs> memory lane from the beginning of the series where we, uh, you know, completed all these levels for the first time. So I'm still gonna look just about everywhere though, still, just in case, and get extra coins along the way. So I'll still look behind objects, I'll still be looking in the foreground a little bit. Oh no, that was silly of me, sorry. Here, let's get you, and you. And picking up the flowers that are easy would be nice because they give us some extra coins as well. Okay. Getting some extra blue coins. Nice, okay. Got that. I, I just like hitting these guys because they also give me some extra coins, but I should probably focus on this stuff. Oh, that's just extra hearts. Not too big of a deal. Gonna get past them. Hmm. Okay, lots going on visually. There's like, you know, lots of barrels and stuff hanging out. Hmm, okay. Well, I do not see any kind of sprout around here. It's gotta look for any kind of box, any box sort of sitting out of the ordinary. Because he's always hiding in the box. I was, you know, like when I first started, you know, looking for him, I thought he was gonna just be like out and about. Like any normal kind of character, but I guess not really. Maybe sort of like Nabbit in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, where you sort of have to chase him down, I guess. I mean, I knew it was gonna be hide and seek, but you know what I mean. Maybe, I don't know. All right, let's get rid of this guy. Keep going. Aha, I see him, I see him. Oh, that is a tricky one, because he's actually blurred out most of the time. Like, when you're not aiming at him, he's blurred out. That one is really tricky. You gotta be careful. That is for sure. All right, well, that was great. Glad I could have gotten it done. But, you just, oh my gosh. So there we go, we are now truly done with the octopus docks, and we already got all the uh, things here, all the outfits. Now we can move on over to this area, and I guess I'll talk to you. I mean, like finding what I'm hoping for? Have a look here in Go-Go Land. I love a crown, please. You might imagine a prince of frogs, oh, I know exactly where this one is. So, that would be in this level. Yep, in the main area. And we still have to find the hide and seek, so maybe we'll find that along the way, but I know exactly where this one is, so I might not be doing too much in-depth searching, I suppose. Okay, so, we'll just start searching through this area, both for the little hide and seek, and for anything else we can really get. I love this level, though. This one's so colorful, like, ooh, it's wonderful. I love it. You get some extra coins. Um, I'm sure at some point he's gonna ask for us to take out some sheep. It's because they're everywhere. It's gonna work. Alright, can you like find me like 20 sheep? Thanks. Want to be too big of a deal even then. But now that I know how far in the background that guy can hide, apparently so far that he's blurred out, which is sort of uncool when you think about it, but hey, whatever we gotta do, right? Okay, so I gotta get up here now. There we go, there we go. Get that, get some extra coins for it. Just trying to build up whatever we can so we can also get that kind of stuff finished out. It is, you know, just satisfying to be able to get everything we are done. Being able to say, a world is fully completed. Like, that's fun. And he, so like, if he's willing to hide that far out, I'm pretty sure he'll also be willing to hide behind objects. So, just trying to be aware of that. And what does this spring do? It just brings me up this way. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. Let me throw an egg at that. <laughs> okay, now this is where I wanna be careful. Because I'm not even trying to find the crown at the moment. I'm just trying to get through all this. Because there most certainly could be a little sprout hiding behind one of these little bushes. That's for sure. Okay, get you up a little bit, because sure, why not? There we go. Now we're good. Maybe I could also get the, nope, I got the one coin. <laughs> I'm always so bad at timing that. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna grab a couple of these guys and see if there's anything behind the little lambs. Not quite, okay. Ooh, can I just, yeah, touch that and that works. Pretty good. 
Let me go past, whoa, what happened? That was weird. Try that again. <laughs> oh, you know what? There was no platform there. Silly me. See, I don't think he's over there. I think we'll be fine. I just didn't have any eggs anyways, so we'll just keep moving. Can we hit these clouds, these smiley clouds? I guess not. I can get all these coins now. Huh? Might as well. <laughs> Once again, just because it's good to get them. Okay. I don't quite see him, but oh, I wonder if he could be on this little flip side. I don't think so. But I might as well just like take an extra look. Uh, doesn't seem like it. All right. I actually got it too, cool. Let me just do that. Oh, and actually lets you stay on this. I didn't know that. When you when you when you succeed at that, it lets you just stay on that flip side until um I guess you gather the flower. Very interesting. Let me go ahead and grab that, and then I'll unfurl everything this way. I haven't seen them yet. Anyways, the crown is over here, as you can see. But I figure I'll give a couple more seconds of searching around. But just because I don't see him doesn't mean he's not around, it might just mean he's farther in the level. Anyways, I need to grab an egg real fast, so let's get one of these guys, and we'll work with that. Got it, got it, and boom, get a couple of eggs wherever I can. Oh, we got three of them there, nice. Because I do want to check around behind these bushes real fast. Because we haven't found them hiding behind an object yet, but I don't know when or if that'll be the case, you know? Anyways, we'll use our last egg just to grab this, and we know where to start searching for uh, next time. So we got it, we got a crown. Very cool. And we'll see what's next. Ooh, you found me a crown. Indeed I did. I thank for your help and present you with a flower. 305 of them in total. No, <laughs> he didn't give us 305, but we have 305 in total. Flowers draw a smile into just about anyone's face. Yeah, we know, don't worry. I've got another request. I'd love some derby sheep, please. I think seven should do the trick, and there's definitely seven around. I saw a lot of them in a place with a twisty shape. They had a couple of colors, if I recall. If you see one, just toss an egg. All right, so does, they had multiple colors, but does that mean more than one of the colors counts? Because that'll make it a whole bunch easier. So let's definitely see if that's the case, and we'll move forward with that. So Poochie's tape trail, we're hopping back into it, and just lots of this for today's episode. Let's get going. So I do see like some, Cows in the background, I don't think they obviously count because cows are not sheep. And they're also like too far to actually throw an egg at. This is an interesting observation, I suppose, on. Nothing more than that. Okay, so here's one that does not count. So why did he even mention them? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, we'll just keep in mind, it's only the, the black and white ones. Which I know there's one on top of a tree coming up. And I'll keep my eye out just in case I still might have missed Sprout somewhere. Okay, yeah, I know there's one down that way. We should be able to get him without too much of an issue. I just gotta hop down here. And boom, there we go, there's one out of seven. <laughs> At this point we can count them while they jump over our beds and take a nap. Uh, let me boing, hop up like that. There's another one hiding behind a tree. Two out of seven now. But yeah, on that tree in the back right, we have, ah, um... oh, I tried to get the 20. Still didn't time it well. On top of that tree, there should be a wonderful, wonderful sheep. That'll be three out of seven. Now what does this get me? Just some extra hearts, nothing too crazy. So let's run up this thing. But well, we should be able to get further in level with this one and hopefully further look for Sprout. See, so let me get up here. A little windy, a little confusing. Hold on, oh. Got it. And boom, three out of seven. So looking for four more. We can do it. All right, I'm not gonna bother too much with the coins this time. Just gotta keep moving. Don't wanna force you guys to see stuff you've already seen, you know? There we go. Going in, I get that one so we can get across real fast. And I don't remember if there's actually a sheep around here, so I'm definitely gonna search around as much as I can. Hmm. Now let's get up here. Got one more egg. I don't see a sheep, so I think we're good. So this is where I gotta start looking for Sprout again. I'll also move you, just for good measure. Get a couple of extra eggs. Okay, oh hey, here's Poochie. Hi Poochie, buddy. 
Yep, we know all about you. So it looks like we're gonna need your help here. Get him up this way. So we're still only at three out of seven. Can't throw it at the cloud. But every once in a while, I'm gonna have you stop so that we can look behind here. There we go. Stop here as well. Ah, it looks like everything's fine so far. Huh, I feel like I've, I've most certainly missed something. Aha, I do see a sheep. Aim up, let that go. And then if you could go this way, buddy, that'd be perfect. I mean, I don't know if, yeah, I guess I can't really go down there, but it doesn't matter too much, Never mind then. I'm gonna go this way, grab a couple more eggs, just for good measure. And we're getting up to the end of the level, I mean, pretty soon. That's a yellow sheep, so it's not the derby one. I don't know what these ones are called. The, the not, the, just the normal, or are they normal? I don't know, the yellow ones, the black and white ones are called the derby sheep. Actually, I should take these guys out though, to see if there's anything behind them. So I'm not seeing too much behind these guys. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can throw anywhere. Oh wait, he's right there. Oh, I'm such a dingus. Okay, that's fine. That's super easy to grab. Boom. And as you can see, we found Sprout. Very cool. I'm going to keep playing because we still have a couple more sheep left to find. But that was nice and fun. Glad I could have gotten that done. Where in the world are these sheep? We're still looking for three more. I mean, okay, well here's one. That'll make it two more. Hmm. I'll grab those coins just, just because they're there. I mean, I guess there's actually a fair chunk of this level left. I don't know why I thought there was so little. I do see that guy, I just don't know if I can reach him from here. Doesn't look like it. So I'm guessing that I have to like sort of go all the way around, which actually shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'll go like, wait, I'll go like this. No, oh, does Poochie do it? Thank you so much, Poochie, you're the best. And got him. There we go, six out of seven. So now I'm looking for the last one, wherever it may be. And then the best way to get it, yeah, would be to get up this way, push that. We gotta sort of loop all the way around. I'll grab some extra coins. Aha, there you are. No, I don't think I can get you from this angle, so I need to wait for this guy to wake up. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Get up. Good job. Plop down like that, push this over, grab some extra eggs, and then we can go ahead and get the sheep. Thank you very much. And there we go, you did it! Seven out of seven, let's exit the course, and I'm glad we were also able to get the hide and seek. So for this level, we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is great. For the other level though, we still gotta look around. Okie doke. Ooh, you found me some derby sheep. As thanks for your help, I present you with this flower. Yay. I've got another request. I love a pumpkin, please. Pumpkins have twisty vines, don't they? Get the poochie puffs to help you search. If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. So I think it's gonna be in this first level again, but on the on the reverse side. But that being said, I wanna see now. How are things going with the courses? We have only two more left to go, unless there's more beyond that, which I don't think there will be. But there's a bunch in Big Paper Peak, so like it's definitely a bit of a mix up. Anyways, let's try this out. It's on the flip side. I think it's here. Because there's not gonna be really too many searching levels or searching things in the next level because in, you know, Go Go Yoshi. As far as I can tell. See, what, what are we looking for again? The pumpkin. One pumpkin. One singular pumpkin. That shouldn't be too bad. I would hope. It could be anywhere though. So we just gotta look around, up and down, all around, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Actually, I should be able to, be able to get up there. Maybe? Or will he just hit me? No, I got him, I got him, good. I can't really do much from here though. Okay, never mind. Bring me back, bring me back. Come on now, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, wherever this pumpkin may be, we'll hunt it down. Hey buddy, I, I, I guess I'm getting you. I don't need to go that way too much. So, so far not too much. But yeah, I don't know if there'll be any souvenirs in the Go Go Yoshi level for that reason that I mentioned. So far, not too much going on. And obviously I can sort of run through this one real fast if I don't see it because there's no coins to get here anyways. But then we also have to buy all the stuff after this, whenever we're done with the souvenirs. Cause we have this one and then one more. So we'll have to wait and see. It's probably gonna be another flip side here. I'd be very surprised if it isn't just because 
unless it's like at the very end ending or the very beginning of the Go Go Yoshi level. Because I think they both have like some amount of time where you can walk around, but not too much. Ow, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Keep going. I don't think I've passed him. Oh, here it is, here it is, we got it. There you go, not too bad. So we can leave the level with that one. I like these little challenges because they are just nice and quick and fresh in that way. It's just, you know, a little bit different and that's fun. It's, it's a better way to sort of enjoy and get more out of the levels. All right, we found that pumpkin and we get a flower. Surprise of the year. A tulip, okay, so that's going to be on the flip side with some twisty tape. So yep, all the different things were here. So at least that's, you know, one less thing to worry about. Let's, I, I, you know what, I've seen that tulip before. I don't think it's too much farther past the pumpkin, but it's definitely in the background. So I can definitely look for that and that shouldn't be too big of a deal. So I think it was somewhere around here. I mean, obviously we still have the, uh, the pumpkin to pass right there. But I think it's somewhere like on one of these distant little islands. So I'm gonna be looking for it. I mean, maybe I was wrong. I mean, it was on the flip side, right? Yep, it was on the flip side. So that's definitely leading us in the right direction. And I'll look as, you know, as far around as I can. Just to make sure I'm not making any kind of silly mistake. <laughs> I love how he's just hanging out with the shy guy. Yeah, I don't see a tulip over this way. We are definitely coming up on it, as far as I know, though. There are some scissors over there. Interesting. Ow, I ran into the shy guy. I couldn't even really see him. Tree was in the way. Unless I'm getting it mixed up with another level that has a tulip as well. That'd be a weird coincidence, so. I guess it's not impossible. I just don't feel that's the case. Hmm. I definitely think it's gonna be in this more sunshiny area. Okay, just trying to, oh, I think I might have just saw it. Nope, that was just a little red swirly thing. Huh, oh, maybe around here? There it is! Right over that way, hold on. There it is, awesome, I knew it was there. All right, so let's exit the course, very cool. And I think that's the last one. That'll be pretty cool. So we'll be done with this area, except for if there is, I'll have to check and to see if there's a hide and seek on Go Go Yoshi. Woo, you found the tulip. As a thanks for your help, I present you with this. As you can see, it's gonna be a flower, our 308th flower. I'm fresh out a request for you. So happy little flowers, spin out of control. Cool. Huzzah, you collected all the smiley flowers in Go Go Land. So yeah, let's take a look at this. Is there a hide and seek? There is, ooh, okay. So let's go ahead and try to find our hide and seek in Go Go Yoshi. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna go on here. Like maybe, I, I really don't know. Maybe it'll be very early or very late in the level or maybe I won't have to throw an egg at him at all. Maybe I'll just have to punch him out of the sky or something. Could certainly be a weird situation. Yeah, like they don't really don't get too much of a chance to Run around as Yoshi. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly what we're gonna end up figuring out here. Got it. What's great about these mini game levels though, I gotta be honest, is that they never outstay their welcome. Cause every mini game level is just in its in and of itself. It's never like, okay, here's the you know, five different Go Go Yoshi levels. It's like there's one Go Go Yoshi level, there's one, you know, hit all the moles level, and all that kind of stuff. I think that makes it all super fresh and fun. And if you want to, you can always replay those levels, but beyond that, it's sort of about finding new things to enjoy. I think that's nice. So I'm just trying to like, you know, comb over everything with my eyes, just trying to find out where in the world this thing could be. I don't really care if I take too long, because obviously it's not really timed in this situation. Punch it that. Got it. Okay, he's not up there. Not yet, at the least. There we go, got him. <laughs> Just barely, but we, we figured that out. Like, maybe there's actually a way to go backwards. Oh, wait, did we get him? I didn't even see him, but awesome, we got him. <laughs> okay, so we found Sprout, our fifth one out of 43. That is pretty interesting. Really, is it four, fifth one? Yeah, I guess it would make sense. We got the first in the train area and then two in the octopus docks, and then two here. Yeah, okay. Probably it's been a bit more than five. We're already getting pretty familiar with Sprout. 
So let's go ahead and go to the next area and also the final area of today's episode, but there's a lot to do here. Like if we take a look, there is a, a lot to do here. Um, at the crafts, uh, we got big paper peak, 10 of them in total, wowie. So let's get started with it all. Say, could you help me find some souvenirs in this big paper peak? Let's see here. I love a curious rock, please. Oh, we've seen that. If you keep a watch while, you might see it during see one during a train ride. If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. Okay, so yeah, that is going to be on this level over this way, on the front side. We can also look for the hide and seek while we're there, but I've seen this rock before. And there's probably gonna be the hide and seek guy somewhere during the train mission as well, just because that seems like a tricky place for him to be, you know? But I've seen him, he's like, oh no! Let's grab a couple of eggs then to get things started. And if I can get some extra coins along the way, I'm not complaining, that'll be great. But I will look through this as much as possible. So we got bunches of things to find, I guess. Okay, well, he's gone. <laughs> well, actually, no, he just hopped on the train. There's a decent amount of coins to get around here too, which is nice. I don't think this was the most generous level ever, but it was, it was decently so. And well, we're already almost at the hunter coin marker, so that's pretty good. Oh, there he is, there he is. See, that one was super easy. All right, well, we're gonna keep moving. Eggs, of course. I don't wanna dilly-dally in the level too much. Even if I'm looking for the hide and seek thing, if I have to come back into it, you know, that's fine with me. Anyways, press A, I'm good. Let's keep going. Okay, so, woo, you found me a curious rock. As thanks for your help, I present you with this. It's a flower, hey. Got so many of these to find. So I've got another request. I'd love a mine cart with a flag, please. And that sort of makes it a bit more specific. Once, uh, w one was stopped up in the, in the waterfall cave. There's surely a story there. If you see one, just toss an egg. Okay, so yeah, we there are plenty of them in this level, plenty of mine carts, but not many with a flower. Hmm, I'm not a flower, I'm sorry, <laughs> a flag. But we'll get a flower for finding it. So hopefully that turns out okay. But yeah, there's lots of find around here. And I'll try to get some extra coins along the way. That's always good. Like these guys right here. I wish the red coins would give you two coins each. I just feel like that'd be a fair thing to do. Hmm. Remember that we're also, why'd I do that? <laughs> also trying to find our good buddy Sprout. That was a mistake. Not this time. Awesome. Cause these guys could just be absolutely anywhere. I don't even have a, uh, I haven't had the chance to get an egg yet. But I guess I can get this guy and maybe throw him over there. There we go, that got me a good couple of coins. Including these ones, nice. Because every coin counts at this point. I mean, did I ever go, I didn't do that in the previous area, actually, I need to go and do that. Why'd I do that? I need to go ahead and spend our coins. <laughs> that would be good. Sorry, I forgot to do it. But we'll do it by the end of today's episode, hopefully. <laughs> I don't wanna be too forgetful. Let's push this back over. Hmm. And I, I can only imagine this one's in the background because I don't remember one with a flag on it. I'll go ahead and I'll take a look here because it's, oh, oh, I thought this was gonna flip the screen around. Oh, it does. Uh, all right, well, it's easy enough to remember. There we go. Get a couple of extra coins for it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, not too much yet. But this is where this area gets a little bit windy and where I wanna be careful. Because we can get some extra stuff like the little bomb dude. I do see a sign in the background. So there's definitely stuff in the background to look out for. That's just some extra coins. I'll grab another bomb guy. No, that's not what I meant to do. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this one doesn't have a flag, does it? No, it doesn't. The one with the flag also sort of had like little, like a little blue platform as well. So that's something I'm also looking for. Okay. 
So far, no dice, but there's a lot more of this level left. Visually, there's just a bunch going on around here. That was actually a pretty good throw. I don't see too much more, but I will get some extra coins. That's always good. Got some of that. This one's... Aha, I see you! Got you! <laughs> All right, well, there is Sprout. Six out of 23. No, not exit course, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, oh, that's silly, whoops. All right, it looks like I found that it is just past these waterfalls, or just before them, I suppose. And boom, nice. All right, so, very good, we did it. We're gonna exit this course, and we're just gonna keep moving forward with everything else. There's so many of these left to find, though. I might stop, because my voice is getting quite tired, I might stop talking through my entire exploration of them, and only talk once I sort of am um, near the area of finding it, just because that would just save me some voice power. I'm also running out of things to say. I mean, this is sort of the same level over and over again. So I think I'm gonna do that starting from here, and just sort of keep going. But there we go, we got that minecart. And, as you can see, He's got another request, an ax. You can find in the mountain hut, but you'll get a better view from the flip side. All right, so that means that it's probably going to be in this level? I would imagine so. So let's go ahead and do this on the flip side and see how everything goes. Oh, here it is. Just to the left of this little thing. I think this video is gonna go much faster for you guys if I do cut all of that stuff out. But uh, that's, that's, you know. I don't think too many people mind that. Some people mind it when I have two short videos, some people mind it when I have two long videos, but I do what I can, you know? Especially with how many are going on with this one. Oh, we found an ax. And we're gonna get a flower for that one. So what is our next one? We got another request, five bulls from the flip side of the train. Maybe I'll keep you guys with this one, because this one we're like sort of riding through and stuff, so that, that sounds like it could be fun. Or it's just me sort of slowly inching through a course, trying to find it. I think, did I do the wrong one? No, I did whistle tap rolls, that's good. All right, so yeah, we'll just try to get as many eggs along the ride and just try to throw them at all the bulls. I remember saying it on the flip side of this level, I was like, I bet you one of the souvenir things is trying to find all the bulls. I was right. I mean, it was pretty obvious too, so. <laughs> Not too crazy, but still, I was right. Okay, so let's get moving. See what ends up happening. Okay. Yeah, let's get whatever eggs we can at the moment. Cause I don't know where these guys are gonna pop up, but we need to find five of them in total. So that's quite a lot. Just trying to dodge these while I can, wherever I can. So there were no bulls there just yet. I'm a little worried that, you know, if we're not fast enough, these bulls could go right past us and it'd be too late. So that wouldn't be good. And yeah, the poochie's about to show up. Might as well just get you so that you're out of our way. We'll also always have an extra egg, so maybe poochies in this level aren't too bad of, an, of a deal. That way we don't have to worry about running out of them. Okay. But, with that being said, if I wasn't <laughs> so bad at the game, there's plenty of opportunities to get more. Hmm. Whoa, what are you doing? We're having a hard time finding our first one, but at the same time, it's not too unreasonable to expect a bull would not be in a cave. And maybe there is one specific bull up there that lives in a cave. Uh, maybe, but you know, for what we're looking for, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. We're about to leave the cave, so I'm sure something's gonna happen, but I'm already low on health, which is not good. I need to be careful. Don't wanna be four bulls in and then die and have to do the whole thing over. That wouldn't be fun. Oh, I do see one back at the station but I'll worry about that when we're there. Gotta worry about everything else for now. I know, Yoshi, you're a little beat up right now. Okay, boom, got him, excellent. So there is that guy done. And then there's one in the background over there. So let's try to get that now. So number two. I don't think there's gonna be too much more over this way, but I might as well check real fast, because I might be actually in a pretty condensed area at this rate. Okay, so I'm not seeing too much. I think we can move more to the right then. But, I don't know, I'll just be extra sure. There's where Poochie is. Don't care about him too much. Yeah, nothing over this way. It's so my only bet right now, besides just going and continuing to the right, is just to check the left real fast, which I'm pretty positive there's not anything. Always good to check that. Okay, so we're doing all right. I just need to run back this way, and okay, excuse me, Mr. Shy Guys, I don't wanna deal with you. 
Or am I getting this backwards again? No, that's right, you gotta run back on the train. All right, well this time it actually works, so that's fine. And there he is, I didn't see him, there's number three. Oh boy. So where's number four at? I gotta be ready to throw this poochie at him. I think there's one coming up. Okay, maybe I should get some of these guys so they don't attack me, even if I do have more health now. Always worth being careful. Right there, that's gonna be four out of five. I really hope I haven't missed one. But there might be like one at the very beginning or something. But we're coming up to the end of the level already. Surprisingly enough, it's a pretty quick one. I just don't see much at the moment and that concerns me. Cause we're like right at the end. Huh. There's a Poochie. Aha, there he is. Okay, go, go, go. And boom, got him. That one wasn't too bad, you did it. Five out of five, I'm exiting the course. Okie doke. So now, what else do we got going on? He's gonna be super happy we got this, right? I sure hope so. All right, so Will, you found some buffalo. As thanks for your help, I present you with this. Well, thank you so much. I've got another request. I love a tent, I know exactly where that is. It's gonna be on the flip side of the mountain. So I'm gonna go and find that one. I know exactly where it is. I found it, I saw it last like time I was here. I just, obviously it wasn't what we were looking for at the time, but this time I'll get it, no problem. And it's right over here. There were just a couple of shy guys chilling out. Super duper easy one, I like it. So we're gonna exit this course and see what's next. Hopefully there's more easy ones like that one. That'll make it to the fact that there's 10 of these a lot easier. I mean, I think we're about halfway through now, which is at least a little bit, you know, relieving. Let's see, if we found a tent. And that'll be a 313th flower. What do we got next? Another request, of course. Wait, where were they? Shimmering crystals in the waterfall cave. All right, so before we get started with that, I do wanna take a look. This is our sixth one out of 10. So we're now on the second half of them. Hopefully everything turns out okay as I get six of these things. I've seen quite a few of them now, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure which crystals do or do not count. And oh no, I need that shy guy. Um, because you see, there's a lot of crystals around here, but I think that only the ones that look like that, which I think there's one behind a mine car coming up soon, but I will, once I get an egg, sort of point at all of these things. I sort of get a good idea. Like this one, yeah, there's one right back here. So if I push this away, you can see, boom, number one. I don't think it's gonna be any of the ones that do not have a yellow outline then. So that's what I'll be looking for, and hopefully everything will turn out all right. Okay, whoa, watch it. Is there any over this way? We'll just sort of zoom through this as fast as I can though, beyond that. Not bad. Okay. What about this, down this way? It looks like they can sort of be in the foreground a little bit as well, so I just, I have to be careful on all fronts here. Not that up that way. There is a type of crystal, but not the, the golden shimmering kind. I don't think there's gonna be anything down that way. It didn't look like it. I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea to assume not, though. I need one of the bomb dudes. I don't know why I think I can make my way through here without him. Okay, try that. There we go. I don't think they're gonna be, oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We got one right in front of us, right there. Two out of six. I mean, that's quite a lot to get through, six of them. It's like one level. So lots of work ahead of us. Got it. And, oh, let me just grab this if I can. <laughs> oh no, my aiming is awful. I don't see too much going on around here. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. I'll go ahead and grab that. I don't know if we need it too much, but I'm just more just checking up here. All right, well, we got a bunch of coins, which is nice, but not what I'm looking for. I also don't think there's anything up that way either. But let's get to rolling this thing and we can find out together. Can you get off of there? That's not yours. All right. Boom, that's going to be three out of six halfway through then. I need more eggs. Don't remember how to get up here. There's certainly a way. Oh no, I can just, oh I see. Hmm. Right, let's grab that guy. That'll be helpful. Okay, I need to get over to one of these platforms quick. There we go. And I gotta look on the top here. No, no, no. Oh, jump up, jump up. 
I'm gonna sort of take a look around to see if there's maybe something I missed. It doesn't look like it. So I think we're good to push forward. A little secret up here, but nothing too crazy. And just trying to look at all the edges of the screen, of course. It just, there's a lot to look at in this level, which is what makes it tough. Getting some extra goodies and stuff, which is always great, but I'm trying to know what my goal is. Here, grab this guy. I need to keep pushing this minecart after all. There's like lots of other crystals, but not all the golden ones. Hmm. So let's, okay, that's gonna open the door up, which is great. For now though, I just gotta push that into that little slot. And let's loop around there. Yeah, this area is a little bit of a loop, which is fine. I'll grab that guy. So we definitely need more eggs wherever we can grab them. And it's like, without even trying, we've already gotten like 185 coins. These earlier levels are certainly a lot more generous with it, which is very appreciated. Oh well, we yeah, the fish sort of hop up around here. I forgot about that. Well, is there anything good up here besides the flower? The flower is great and everything, but not gonna be what we're looking for. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well that's fine. Let's grab that guy, or not. Oh, I see, I see it. That's a weird one. It's like really hidden in there. So that's four out of six. I mean, I can only hope that there's actually more than six in the level, and that you just have to find six of them, but I don't think that's the case, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, here's another one. That will be five out of six then, so we're only looking for one last one. That's exciting. So head on back over. Oh, got him. And boom. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. So where could this last one be? Whoa, we're moving quick. So we're supposed to hop up there, but okay, there's nothing really too much down here. Got it, got it, got it. So I just need a couple of eggs so that if I run into that last crystal, we'll be all good to go. And they're actually, like, this is the last stretch over here. I don't have any more eggs. I mean, there might be more enemies to grab eggs from. Oh boy, we gotta make this jump. I don't see it anywhere though. Oh no, where is it? <laughs> Hold on, can I go back? I can. All right. Um, Weird, where's the last crystal at? I gotta find it. Aha, here it is, got it. All righty, so we did it. We found six out of six, so we're gonna exit the course. Very cool. So, as you can see, we got, that took a lot of work. I did a lot of searching around, but at least we're getting more coins out of it, that's something. Okay, so what is next? That was the sixth ones. So we saw so many more left to go. Okay, so we found some crystals, blah, blah, blah. This is a lot of work. I can see this taking up a lot of time for upcoming episodes. So wait, what were we finding? Something. Uh, seek this little, this batty little family out on the flip side of the waterfall cave. Uh, if you see one, just throw an egg at that sucker. Okay, so back of the waterfall cave, right? The minecart cave. We have these like little purple and yellow bats on the flip side. Okay, well, I'll start looking around for those guys. Oh, there they are, I see them over there. Okay, so I have to go under this prana plant a little bit. That's it, come on, Yoshi, thank you. And then we're just gonna, ow, get up here so I can get a good angle at it, and throw, nope. And throw, there it is. That one wasn't too bad, it was just right where it was. So, I exit the course, and let's hope that we can find the next one without too much of an issue. Yep, yep, yep. So obviously no coins found there because the flip side doesn't have any coins for no reason. But that's okay. So let's see what he's gonna say next. That was the seventh one. Whoa, you found a bat, bat family. Maybe Batman somewhere around here too. <laughs> okay, so I've got another request. I'd love some crystal blocks, please. I think six should do the trick. Of all the blocks on the mountain, the blue ones stand out the, from the crowd. Oh, you know what, I've seen those. Okay, so from the mountain, that's gonna be this level up here. I remember those for sure. And it's gonna be in the front side, yeah, for sure. All righty, let's get to it. And hopefully everything turns out pretty well with these. That would be good. Okay, let's get going. And I'm trying to take a look around. They they stand up the most for sure, and they're always like usually in the background. I mean, I don't think I'll have too much of a problem finding them, to be honest with you. We'll just have to run through the level, like this one right here. Okay, watch it, buddy. And get that, that's gonna be one out of six. That really shouldn't be too bad then. Got it, okay. The only problem is I, I'll have to like explore the level 
fairly thoroughly any kind of secret area could have one of those in the background so and this is also a great opportunity to continue looking around for any kind of you know hide and seek friend wherever he may be ow it was his name sprout because so far sprout's been found in some pretty reasonable areas am i doing this right yeah i'm fine with doing this okay hmm the block should definitely be easier than sprout though I mean, Sprout is sort of kind of a block as well, but you know what I mean. Also, wait. Uh, wait, w come on, Mr. Can, you're in the way. For a second, I thought that maybe he was under there. Like, it sort of looked like he was from that angle I was at. Is there anything behind here besides the flower? Not looking like it, but I'll grab the extra coins while I'm at it. Got a jelly bean sign in the background. Will must be some extra coins, that's always good. But the spear guys aren't so helpful for this area. Just a little uh, Mauser behind him. Okay, here's our next block. Oh, and, and also uh, Sprout right there. Mixed in with the other blocks, what do you know? I told you there's a lot of blocks in this level. Found Sprout, seven out of 43. I didn't want to exit the course, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's so instinctual to press that sometimes. Okay, so here's another one. Luckily the ones I have already found stay found, so that's pretty good. Now I gotta, yeah, I gotta get up there to slam this one down, I remember. Get that guy. So we found three so far, we're about halfway through. Gonna grab some of those. Very excellent, and ba-boom! Nice, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving, even though the camera's still super dynamic and at an angle. I don't care, we got places to be. I'm so glad that we were able to find Sprout in this level. Ooh, there's one, that one's in a sneaky position. Just barely can see that one. But that's gonna be a four out of six. And what about this way? There is definitely more to find over here, so. Well, I'm gonna have to go around to get it, actually. I can't quite get up there just yet. But I will be if I go like this, grab the magnet, and there might not be anything up there, but I'm not entirely sure at the moment. So it's always good to check. Let's jump, and nothing. Okay, that's fine. Had to check to be sure. So far, these blue blocks haven't been too bad. One of the easier ones, to be honest. And I was supposed to have that magnet. Oh my gosh, I'm just a champion of wasting time. This is gonna be a really long episode, so I'm definitely, like, this is gonna take a while to do. Like, this is more of an undertaking than I had expected, and is that not enough? Is there another magnet I can get? I guess there has to be. Um, no, not anything from way back here. Why can't I remember how I did this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Alrighty, so. I figured some stuff out. I'm still moving, oh, I see that, I see that behind that block, or behind that thing. Oh, I gotta be careful, I'm low on health. Don't want that to happen. So I got that, that was good. What about all this, will this be extra hearts? It will not be. The one time I need extra hearts real bad. We have five out of six in, so I'm just looking for one more. I should be able to handle that, I would hope. But, you never know. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, just try to get to this part as much as I can. Doesn't look like there's too much over that way. I doubt the block would be. Nice, whoa, 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 there it is, there it is, I gotta turn around. <laughs> I didn't even realize you could walk in this section, but it makes sense that you can. And we got it, awesome. So there's all six of the blue icy blocks. We're gonna exit the course now, for real this time, when I actually need to get another 150 coins. We're almost done, but there's still a couple more left to go, right? I think two more? I'll have to go and check. Oh man, it has been a slow crawl through all these. Oh, you found me some crystal blocks. And as you can see, we get another flower. So let me go ahead and real fast check out the courses. But you have the cactus cart, which is gonna be one near the train. Nature always fi uh, finds a way, it seems. If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. Okay, I will. But first, uh, let's go to, no, wrong button. Crafts, okay, this is the second to last one. That's exciting. We're getting through it, guys, we're getting through it. Oh, look at this, okay, so I was looking around for the red cactus, or the cactus in the little red thing, and I found our little buddy. Sneaking near some more boxes. <laughs> He's so cute, that's our eighth one. We're gonna keep playing, I wanna keep looking. So apparently somewhere around a train, I mean, I was just hanging out near the one train while I was riding it and I didn't see any. There's a ton of cacti, oh, here it is. Um, so let me hit this so it moves out of the way. And then boom, there we go. Nice chain of events there. Okay, so there we go, our second to last one done. We also found our second to last hide and seek for the day. Man, oh man, this is just gonna be 
a really lot of effort. Like, I'm thinking about how many more of these we just have left to do throughout the game. It's, it's like, it's crazy. I'll just try to do like an hour each. Like, this time I really pushed it above me on. We're doing like an hour and a half. But hey, there's that done. Hey, buddy, I found you a cactus cart. And that's gonna be our 317th flower. Okay, so now I need to find some caramel billboards. I think three should do the trick. There's one of them in three different courses. Try finding all of them. Oh, I don't like that, but I'll do it. Oh my gosh, so we have to find one in each course. Luckily, I know where the one in the mining one is, which I feel like is gonna be the most difficult anyways, so let's get started with that one. So yeah, it should be, yep, right in the corner over this way. It sort of like snuck up there, but I saw it before, so that's sort of the weird thing. You just gotta go in one in each level, but we'll do exactly as that. So there's the minecart cave one. It's really like in our first little area, the first part where the waterfalls bring you up. Cause there's a lot of sections where it does that, but the first time it does, that's where that one is. Okay, so let's go for the next one in here. Oh no, wrong button. I don't know where this one will be. This one's a little bit more vague for me. So if I remember correctly, I do think it's on this very first train ride and it's coming up. If I remember correctly, we're about to find out. Going over this bridge, get a flower, sure why not, just get whatever coins I can while I have the free time. Yep, right here, caramel blocks, boom. Caramel blocks sound really, really tasty, by the way. Like those look amazingly delicious, especially if like there's like cream on the inside or something. Mm, you're making me hungry. Usually I don't like sweets when I'm hungry. I like real food, I guess. I mean, sweets are food, don't get me wrong, but they're not sustaining, at least not in my opinion. That's just my opinion though, I might be wrong. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this one. Mousers and Magnets, play the course and try to find our next billboard. Oh, there it is, okay. So just under another one of these cans, the caramel blocks. So the, really the only difficult one was in the mine cart. Everything else wasn't too bad. It was just sort of in the background you could find it. So yeah, not too bad. We have over 2,000 coins too, so I'm looking forward to spending all of those, but not so bad so far. And I think we found all the hide and seek, so I'm gonna have to check that, but I think we may be all wrapped up for today's episode. Ooh, you found me some caramel billboards. As thanks for your help, I present you with this. And it is a happy flower once again, 318 in total. I'm fresh out of requests for you. Okay, so as we can see, wonderfully enough, this part of Big Paper Peaks is completed. Huzzah, you collected all the smiley flowers in Big Paper Peak. Isn't that awesome? So, we take a look. Um, what I wanna see now, if we go to our menu, is we can see the hide and seek. We have found them for all the levels we played in today's episode, which is excellent. And next episode, we'll try to continue forward and get as many as those as we can. That's gonna take a lot of effort, but we'll just sort of do it in little chunks at a time, have some fun along the way, and just sort of see how things go. But actually, no, I have all the costumes as well. We had it in the previous area, in this area, which is excellent, because that means I can just save these coins for later on, spend them in other places, and continue to get them completed. But it looks like we still have one more to buy here, two more, actually. Actually. So I'll spend the 200 coins and then we'll be good. Can't believe I forgot to do that. Or is it one, two, yes, two. So let's get these and then these first five areas will be totally, totally complete except for one thing and that's the boss fights I wanna save for the very, very end. Cause I feel like that'd be the most fun. But anyways, as you can see, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be the orange juice box and finally, the caramel box. Not too bad, had lots of fun here. Hopefully you guys did too. So with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Yoshi's Crafted World. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment hide and seek zebra. So if you've watched at the end of the URA zebra task viewer, check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.